Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Little Black Cat Knits podcast. A podcast all about knitting, crochet, cross stitch, and pretty much any other crafty thing I happen to be working on. I am your host, Ashley, coming at you from New Jersey where I live with my two sons, my husband, and my little black cat. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Gaddy Yarn Co, on Etsy as Gaddy Yarn Co, and on Ravelry as AM Gaddy. There is also a group for this podcast on Ravelry. All you have to do is just search for the Little Black Cat Knits podcast and it will pop right up. Every episode's show notes um, will be over there. And I think that just about covers it for admin and such. Today is Monday, February 24th, 2020. Um, it's been a week since I podcasted. I got so much done this week, guys. So much done. So we're going to jump into FOs. My first FO is the Montrealer that I've been working on for Keith. Um, the pattern is Montrealer by Design by Designs by Dells, and it is a den. The hood, it came out a little wonky. I think I was, uh, I think not the best, but it was my first time doing a hood, and it is finally done. Last time you saw it, only one sleeve was done, and now it's done. I couldn't take it anymore. I just needed it off the needles. Um, I knit this out of Loops and Threads Impeccable in the Orange Crush and Classic Gray colorways. And yeah, call for needles, all that jazz. Keith loves it. He's already worn it twice. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my first FO. And I am so happy to have it off the needles because there was just a lot of other things I wanted to work on. And now Keith can stop complaining that I don't make him anything. <laughs> um, yeah, that is, that is my first of two FOs. We have two FOs today. My other FO is a corner to corner crochet blanket that I crocheted for my son, Paul. And it's done. I finished this late. Saturday night and he's obsessed with it um yeah he uh rolls around on it like crazy can't give it to him in his bed yet because he's still too little but he loves it for rolling around on the floor and doing tummy time and whatnot um I used a size h hook I believe um, yeah, size H hook, um, and I used, um, I didn't really use a pattern for it, I used, um, a, uh, YouTube tutorial for how to do corner to corner crochet blankets, and I believe that was Jada in Stitches, and I used, um, what else did I use? I used Karen Big Cakes. I used two, um, two in the colorway Honey Glazed, um, and then I ran out of that. And when I went to Michael's to uh, get another skein, they didn't have any more of that colorway. So I got the shade Afternoon Tea because I figured it was close enough, and it was not. And now there's one random baby blue stripe in this blanket, but that's okay, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, I used two full Karen Big Cakes and then maybe, like, I wouldn't even, maybe an eighth of um, a third one for um, just the last little bit. And um, yeah, those, those are my FOs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I guess we'll move on to whips. I only have two whips um, that are knitting. Um, and then my other two whips are cross stitch. So yeah, let's jump into my knitting whips. My first one is living in this tiny bag that I uh, made myself. And it is the Twas the Night Before Christmas Socks by Danielle George. And I have completed the heel flap and heel turn. Um, last time you saw it, the leg, just the leg was done. Um, I will be um, probably moving on to the gusset in the next day or two. Um, but yeah, these are being knit on size 1, US 2.25 millimeter um, Chiaogu 9 inch circulars. And it, they are being knit out of Loops and Threads Perfect Pair in the Glory Days colorway. Um, I am knitting the 72 stitch count size in the pattern. Yeah, so that's that. Um, Keith's sweater got most of the work this week, so I didn't make a ton of progress on everything else, but I made some progress. I was knitting like a lunatic to try to get things done for the podcast because I didn't want to have to go another two weeks between things, so yeah, no. All right, my other knitting whip is the... Hogwarts a mini history sweater by Megan Regan um, and I'm knitting this for Bruce and I finished the second color work panel here um, and he picked out what he wants to do for the third panel I'm about to start that um, now I the pattern is a fingering weight pattern and I am knitting it on worsted because I had issues with the fingering weight one when I made it for him it the neck hole was just too small, things were not working out. So I said, let me up it to a worsted weight we yarn, up the needle size, and this is looking like it will fit him wonderfully. It might be a little big, but I'm okay with that. Um, and what I'm doing is I doubled the length of the neck, so I will be folding it in half, um, just so it doesn't, like, I don't know, and I might cinch it a little bit so it's not so, like, wide. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out when I'm done with it. Um, but I am knitting these on the ribbing I did in a size US 6. The body is on a size US 8. Um, and I am knitting this out of Loops and Threads Impeccable in the Bright Sky Blue. And... Citron colorways. Um, moving right along on this, I want to try to get it done as quickly as possible because, um, well, I really want him to wear it, number one. And number two, I have so many other things I want to be knitting right now. And um, I'm having a hard time with it because I just got sweaters everywhere. Speaking of sweaters, I have done zero work. <laughs> On my design for the knives out sweater because that thing is in timeout because I think I cast on one too many stitches and I am so sick of one by one ribbing as I talked about in the last podcast so that one may get some work this week because I really want to try to get the make sure that the new charts that I have um, are working out properly um, but <laughs> it's not my friend right now it's in time out. It's my own design, which makes that even worse. Okay, now that everything's back in focus. Um, moving on from knitting, because that is all the knitting I have this week. Um, I'm going to move on to cross-stitch, because I've been doing a lot of cross-stitch, because with all the knitting I've been doing, I just, you know, need some different crafty things. Um, so I am working on this Captain America cross stitch by Oh My Stitches Shop on Etsy. Um, oh, I gotta talk fast. This thing says I have four minutes left. Ooh, okay. Um, so I am 
working on this, I'm just stitching it with all the called for DMC and the, um, on just plain white 14 count Eda. And as you can see, I have made some progress since the last time I showed it. Um, so yeah, that's that one. The other thing I'm working on cross stitch wise, um, is living in this beautiful project bag by Stars Hollow Stitchery. Um, can't show you the other side because the pattern's there. Um, but I am working on doo -doo 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 -doo, Sunflower Manor by Priscilla Lane and Hands On Design. Um, I bought this way back in like November to stitch for my mother-in-law for Christmas. And then I, my count was off and then I had to rip things back and I got very frustrated and I said screw it and I needed more thread. So I ordered more embroidery floss and now I'm back to it and I'm hoping to get it done for Mother's Day. But this is all the progress I have on it so far. This white all right here um, is what was miscounted that I had to rip out. Um, I am using a bunch of different threads, um, classic color works. I tried to get as many of the called fours as possible, but um, I uh, was having trouble finding them, so I kind of switched out for my own. Um, the only, I think the only, I'm using a couple of the called fours. Um, and then I'm stitching that on a 14 count black Ada. Chalkboard Ada, sorry. And that is that. I have three minutes now. I'm trying to talk really fast. Life update, pretty much. Um, Nothing too crazy to report. Life is life. Everything's normal. I did get to go to Barnes and Noble last week though, and I have a little bit of acquisitions. So here's what I bought. I'm gonna run through them really quick, and then hopefully next week I will be able to talk more because I am running out of time. Um, so I got the first Outlander book, which is what I'm reading right now. So far, amazing. Oh my god, two minutes. Okay, um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm very excited to start this. I hear so many good things. Practical magic, because I love a good witchy book and I love this movie. The Witch of Willow Hall, because I love a good <laughs> witchy book. Um, and then last but not least, I got Where the Crawdads Sing. I've been wanting to read this for a while and I keep trying, kept trying to take it out of my library, but it was always out because apparently it's on a lot of book clubs. Um, so yeah, that is that. I have one minute left. I'm rushing through this and I hate that. I'm so sorry. Um, but that wraps everything up, I guess. It's a very quick episode because the timer is yelling at me. Um, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep watching me and chat about knitting. And that is it. Thank you all for hanging out with me and happy knitting. Bye.